is the final lap with Kerry Murphy. NASCAR is race number nine in the chase from Phoenix, and here's how they ran 10 to 1. Jamie McMurray recovered from a mangled spoiler, amazingly enough. Then Kurt Busch, Mark Martin, Matt Kenseth, Kevin Harvick at number six. Then Jimmy Johnson right there at number five. Greg Biffle, Joey Logano, Ryan Newman, number two. Heading to victory lane now from the pole, Carl Edwards takes his first win since 2008, believe it or not, snapping a 70-race winless streak and doubles up on the weekend with a Nationwide Series win as well. It's something we talked about a little bit here on Friday. You know, we understand that we we have to qualify better, and that first pit stall is what uh, kept us up there with that track position. You know, my guys did a good job on pit road. Pit stall was good. Bob made good adjustments. And then at the end for... Uh, you know, to be able to make the fuel mileage work out. That was, uh, that was a little stressful, but it worked. Other stories on the day in this one. So who was missing from that top 10? Hmm? Well, it was points leader Denny Hamlin who led the most laps, locking up the five bonus points, but was short on fuel and finished 12th. Kevin Harvick came out of a pit stop 19th with 85 laps to go for a missing lug nut. This ultimately helped him in the closing laps, allowing him to race hard and finish top 10. Jimmy Johnson fought handling issues all race long, but gambled on that fuel mileage and finished ahead of Hamlin and Harvick. Denny Hamlin's lead over Jimmy Johnson is now just 15 and 46 over Kevin Harvick. So it all comes down to the final race of the season at Homestead Miami Speedway next weekend. You're on the final lap.